Hello everyone, this is Chris and Ash here. And these are two of our three chinchillas. These, these guys are little menaces and they chew everything. Um, we have them outside today in the shade just for a little while because it's about 70 degrees, maybe a little less, so they can tolerate it. Um, this is an outdoor tunnel mainly designed for things like ferrets, so this is not appropriate for them and I do not recommend it. Um, they're little terrorists who like to chew everything and they could probably chew through this so I have to watch them very carefully. I'm just letting them out for a little bit. We don't usually take them outside. In fact, uh, chinchillas tend to like cooler temperatures. They're from the Andes Mountains and anything above like 75, 80 is really dangerous for them. So we can't let them out too often, especially in the summer. Hey, Mr. Chinchilla, stop it. Um, like I said, I have to watch them very carefully. The, the neat thing about these tunnels is um, they, you can actually buy a couple and put them together. So like if you want to give your animal like a lot of room to roam, you can get a few of them and then they can just have like huge amounts of space to run around outside. But like I said, this is more for a ferret or something like that. Some people use them for their cats, which is kind of weird. Hey! Um, these things are like, you can weigh them down I think, that's why. Now chinchillas like to run really fast and bounce off of walls. So they need a lot of space to run around. And like I said, they chew everything. So we've actually had experiences where they chewed all of our woodwork, which is kind of bad if you want to keep your house nice. Um, I know I sound a little bit, a little bit uh, pessimistic about them, but they're just very, very uh, high maintenance pets. And that one in the back is Mr. Chinchilla. The one in the front right now is Mr. Pikachu. Um, they, Mr. Chinchilla actually chewed some of our old apartment and it was a very old apartment and had lead. So he actually got lead poisoning and it cost a couple thousand to cure him of that. So like that's another very bad thing about chewing. And no matter how many chew toys you give them inside their enclosure, they're gonna wanna chew everything when they come out. Some people have chinchillas that will let you hold them, ours really won't. Mr. Chinchilla, stop that. Yeah, come here. Mine actually bite sometimes. <laughs> it is pretty cool to see them jump off walls and stuff, and sometimes they jump on each other and grab onto each other do funny things. These are both males. We have another male that we had to separate from these two because he was a bully and always tried to attack Mr. Pikachu and to the point where he was drawing blood. So he has a separate enclosure and he can't really come out at the same time. And these guys eat um, oxbow chinchilla pellets. It's a, the occasional snack, although it's not good for them. Like I said, I provide them chew toys. They also have to have Timothy hay every day. Water. You guys having fun? I know, I wish I could give you more room. Maybe I'll get another tunnel since you seem to be behaving. Nope, never mind. <laughs> 